Well, good afternoon and welcome to the People's House here in Owensboro, Kentucky. It's my pleasure to welcome a new corporate citizen to our community and it's always great to work with Gulfstream Commercial Services, a great public-private partnership again. And um, We're very excited about you coming downtown. Is that still the place downtown? Is that right? Good. And uh, I'm hoping uh, that um, if you have any problems at all, Nate Pagan is our city manager and he'll be glad to help you at any time. So at this time, I'd like to introduce uh, Brittany Johnson, President and CEO of the Greater Orangeboro Economic Development Corporation. Please. Thank you, Mayor. Welcome. Thank you for joining us today for this exciting announcement. On behalf of the Greater Owensboro Economic Development Corporation in the community, I would like to thank Bell Bank for choosing Owensboro Davis County for their new investment. We welcome you with open arms and thank you for your immediate economic impact on this community, which is estimated to be more than $50 million annually, as well as the future impact that the company will provide as a great corporate citizen. We are excited to work with you and grow alongside you as we continue to move the community forward and look forward to a great partnership for many years to come. I can't talk that fast, but what she said was good. I can say that for you, I know. So at this time, uh, I'd like to introduce Bob Smiley. He's Senior Vice President and Mortgage Services Director for Bell. I believe he knows Orangeboro a little bit. He's been there before, and we welcome you back, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Okay. Thank you, Mayor and Brittany. Thank you. Um, kind of deja vu here. Um, <clears throat> Bell Bank, if you don't know that name, you probably don't, is a, a small, privately held banking institution headquartered in Fargo, North Dakota. And we, uh, in the mortgage servicing group, have recently grown fairly drastically from what their traditional model was. And the bank decided that we wanted to get a little bit bigger in mortgage servicing. So uh, due to that pace that we're expected, we had to find a location where we could find some experienced talent. Uh, and we looked at different markets throughout our footprint and outside of our footprint. <coughs> um, and we chose Owensboro. Um, obviously, I have a history here. Uh, there's a great group of talented people here. Um, and it's very familiar to our Fargo operations, very much similar. So um, we decided Owensboro is going to be the place. And thank you to the City, of course, and the work that Brittany has done, uh, and our partners at Gulfstream um, to make this a reality. So um, we will begin operations here in Owensboro in mid-2022. So we're very happy to be here. Um, there's a lot of things that will be going on shortly, um, but um, we're very excited. So um, I'm, I'm thrilled to be back. and. It's good to see a lot of faces here that I haven't seen for some time. So um, thank you for, for uh, your, your grace and, and your, your welcoming. So appreciate it very much. Thank you. Uh, and we can answer a few questions if there are. Um, Just raise your hand, we'll call on you. Yes, uh, first up, like how many jobs will be coming into the Owensboro area and where will those where, where will those jobs be kind of centered at like at one location okay um, yeah so um, we are uh, working on a five-year plan at this place um, and we have selected uh, the 234 Frederica Street location formerly a Lorica building um, and we're going to be phasing in our staffing starting this year. Um, I don't re recall the exact numbers, but um, mid-40s or so staff adds this year. Uh, a larger number next year. Um, I think it's around 70 or so next year. Uh, and then some, some smaller increases through 24, uh, 25, 26. So um, we're, we're, we're measuring the pace. Um, kind of a new channel for us. We're going to be acquiring some additional servicing volume. And so we're going to do that measured. So obviously we'll, we'll add the staff at a measured pace. So 
our first, well, first time I will actually be uh, with a facility that's within city limits. So I'm um, kind of Good excited. To hear that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So what kind of jobs will be opening up? Um, so for mortgage servicing, they're they're um, typical type uh, processing type positions. Um, we have customer service roles, um, uh, you know, really kind of the life cycle of mortgage servicing, which is collections and, and uh, insurance activities. So, you know, really operational type processing positions. Um, we, um, we also have a little bit different model where we, we, we kind of staff more from a smaller grouping. So we have quite a number of managers that we're expecting to add. Um, with, with staff, um, instead of huge departments or anything, we have a, a number of managers. Um, and so now we're just trying to, trying to figure out, okay, who do we hire first? Um, hopefully we get some managers in place and then bring the, the staff on. But um, uh, it's a little, little, little bit of everything, but similar to other positions that are, that are here with uh, uh, another company. So. Are most of those folks, are you looking to hire from within Owensboro? Um, yeah, they, they would be. Um, obviously, being on the river, you know, there, there could be a few that we attract from Indiana, which, um, which we, we normally had seen in the past, so we would expect that in the future. So, uh, we, we're not expecting any, any real wholesale type of anybody relocating down from one of our other locations at this point. So, they'll, they'll all be local. So, yeah. So, um, so why Owensboro? What was it about the Owensboro market that that led to Bell Bank coming down here? Was it just because of the available space at the at the two forty at the old uh, Lorica building, or what else was there? So, you know, we we actually started this um, about nine months ago and said, okay, here's where we want to go as far as size, and to get there uh, and to find the place where we could possibly attract some talent that had those skills. We looked at markets where there are mortgage servicers today. Um, a big market for us is, is in um, Phoenix. And what, what really happened, we looked at Phoenix, and we looked at Milwaukee, and we looked at St. Louis, Minneapolis. Um, and really, w what happened was there, in some cases, Phoenix, for example, there's way too much competition. You know, there's 25 servicers there. So we were looking for where there were a fewer number of servicers. Um, and then we were trying to also match it a little bit with the Fargo operations. You know, Fargo is a city, you know, not that dissimilar to Owensboro. Um, uh, a little more Evansville, but, you know, it has kind of the same feel. And so Owensboro has that feel. So, and it has the, you know, talent base here too. So. Um, yeah, so that's that's why we made that call. And, and, and this may be a question, maybe more for Mayor Watson, but the he's answering all the questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what is the bottom? Of the, what's it? And of course, the, what's it like to have someone coming, another company coming into that building is that Alorica occupied for several years before everything that happened within the past year. You know, what's it like to get a probably have another business come back in to get? Take well, that obviously, there's a pretty big hole down there that needed to be completed, and uh, uh, thankfully, Bob led this charge because he knows about Owensboro, he knows about the people, and, and with Gulfstream, it, it was a good marriage, and you know, it's the third leg of the, the, the stool that we've always talked about, we need density down there, we've got entertainment, restaurants, now we need density, and the more people we get down there, the better our downtown will thrive, so that's been the biggest interesting thing for us and actually you know space was the it wasn't the driver of us coming here it was actually the challenge um, for us you know needing 35 where's Matt 35 40 thousand square feet is not the easiest thing so um, it happened to, to work out but um, uh, so um, yeah we're, we're we're looking forward to it. it's, it's a great building Anybody else? Okay. Thank you, sir.
<laughs> well, I thank you all for coming. Um, let's support these folks best we can because uh, it's always great to have a new corporate citizen. And again, it's great to have another public-private partnership going on in our downtown. So thank you all very much for being here. God bless. <laughs>